All right, you know and love her for many TV shows. Uh, actress of the big screen, the small screen, award-winning. In fact, she's making her TIFF debut. It's about time with Oscar nominees <laughs> like Ethan Hawke and Sally Hawkins. It's the Canadian biopic called Maddie, and she's joining us this morning. We applaud you. <laughs> Kari, good to see you. Match it. Let's talk a little bit about this is your first TIFF. How can that be with so many amazing titles Yeah, under your credit? Well, you know, for one reason or another, the, the films I've done before haven't come here, so I was just lucky enough that finally it happened with Maddie. The Tiff Tizzy. And yes. do you love it? I do. It's really exciting, exhausting, and exciting. Yeah. But I'm so happy to be here with Maudie. It's a film I'm really proud of, so it's, it's perfect. One of the only Canadian films and one of the uh, seven films with a female director. So, yes, go Tiff. Apparently, they're breaking records with this. You know, a lot of women on set, a lot of women in the cast, behind the scenes, and a Canadian story. For people who don't know the story you, of Maude, She's very Big important to Canadian uh, art history. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Maud Lewis was born in 1903 and uh, had a, a disability, a very serious disability that she had to overcome in order to, to paint. And so she lived her life indoors, really looking out at the world. And I think that sense of being an observer informed her art, which is beautiful and whimsical and magical and full of life. And it's just so lovely to have the beautiful Sally Hawkins bring her to life on the big screen so the world might get to know who Maude Lewis is. Yes, and despite her physical challenges, as you mentioned, and financial ones as well, the fact that she was able to emerge as a true part, uh, you know, of Canadian art folk history yeah. is incredible. So yeah. how did she get discovered and where does your character come in? My character is a blend of a few people that were actually in Maude Lewis's life. Uh, the main one being an art gallery owner. The art gallery owner that she was, uh, my character was modeled after, lived in Halifax. And so Maude's painting slowly, slowly, slowly sort of were put, was put out into the world. but by this owner and then actually made its way across the border. President Nixon had one. But my character comes along and befriends Maude and sees her art and falls in love with her art and by falling in love with her art fell in love with Maude. And I think she's the per first person in Maude's life who went, I like you. Mm. You're doing a wonderful thing. And it kind of enabled Maude to fly. And you being Canadian, of course, you knew how beautiful the East Coast would be. But I was reading that Ethan Hawke said that he was so excited, you know, when he saw the script and the first two words were day, period, Nova Scotia. Yeah. He said, I'm in. Although you did shoot this in Newfoundland. Yeah. So what was that like working together in such a beautiful space? Well, Newfoundland, yeah, Newfoundland's extraordinary. And um, Ethan uh, is an extraordinary actor. So, you know, there's... There's one, it's one thing to have a beautiful script, which we had, and then wonderful actors, but then to put it in a landscape that's inspiring, mm. like Newfoundland, uh, it just made it all come together in an alchemical way. And when you're working on something like this, which I imagine feels so special and serene, and then you watch it back, what did you take from seeing the film for the first time? Well, I hadn't seen it before the premiere, actually. I'd just seen bits when I did ADR for it, and uh, I couldn't have been happier. Mm. Ashling Walsh, who directed it, is a beautiful director, and she and Sally worked t together with Ethan and created a, a masterful piece. It, it's funny, yeah. it's heartbreaking, and it's just a beautiful human story about this wonderful woman. And it's a love story at the heart of it, so really worth seeing. I, I don't say that about many things, but it is really worth seeing. Well, oh, thank you so much. Thank you for bringing us this beautiful film, and enjoy the rest of TIFF. Thank you. Continue success. We love all your work, and make sure you see it. It's called Maudie. Maudie actually is playing this afternoon as part of TIFF, as we mentioned. For more information, breakfasttelevision.ca, and follow Kari on Twitter. We can do so by going to at the Kari, K-A-R-I, match it. Thank you so much. Thanks, Dana. Right now, over to Kev in the newsroom.